Hello, my name is Eric, and I want to give you my two cents on Brittany Griner. Welcome to the craziness that lives inside my head. You got to be living your life in what they call the a bubble or living got your ho got your head stuck in a hole somewhere not to know what's going on in the world i hate to be so cruel but there's a lot of people like that i talk to some people about uh world events and a lot of people don't know who the hell britney griner is well she's supposed to be a wnba superstar supposed to be that's all i can say well, anyway, she's been in the news. She's been in jail. Well, let's start with this. Why was Griner, Brittany Griner, in Russia? Well, Griner has played in Russia for the last seven years during the winter, earning more than $1 million per season. More than quadrupled her WNBA salary. She last played for her Russian team on January 29th before the league took a two-week break in early February for the World Cup qualifying tournaments. She was arrested in Moscow upon returning to Russia on February 17th of this year. Okay. A lot of these athletes... Um, American athlete. Okay, once the season is over in America, I, I think, I gather what I'm getting, they go to other countries because their seasons are different and make money in those other countries. So that's what she was doing and she quadrupled her Women National Basketball Association salary. Okay. And you, if you haven't heard, she came back on February 17th to Russia at the airport. They checked her bags, like they all checked their people bags. And they found marijuana or back, whatever it is, marijuana and a vapor. Vape. They call them vape. So... What was her defense in bringing, in bringing illegal drugs into the country of Russia? The media stated that she told the Russians that it was a mistake, that she didn't know that her vape and drugs were in her suitcase because she packed in a hurry, in a hurry, she packed in a hurry. I mean, we could all understand that. But this woman played in Russia for seven years. And she had to know the, the law in Russia about illegal drugs. I mean, marijuana basically is illegal in this country unless you get uh, a doctor say you medicinal, which she did. Well, she did. Once they commit, uh, uh, convicted her and put her in jail, she did get a doctor's note confirming that she uses the vape for medicinal purposes. Well, if she used the vape for medicinal purposes, then it wasn't a mistake. It's medicine, and she need her medicine. She need her vape. So anyway, let's continue. Her attorney said Griner's guilty plea could be part of a strategy to get a more lenient sentence or help facilitate a prisoner swap that could bring Griner home. The plea was also made in recognition that there was no chance she would be acquitted of the charges. Of course not. If you enter a plea of guilty, you are admitting to the court that you have committed the offense you have been charged with. She's guilty. And she knows she's guilty. But it doesn't make any sense to me because 
Then her doctor write a note saying that it's a medicinal. Well, it's medicinal. Why didn't she go to the Russian doctors and get a note from the Russian doctors before seven years ago? Mind you. Whatever year she started doing this medicinal uh, marijuana. I mean, she knows the law. She has to know marijuana is illegal in Russia. It was illegal here. And it's, it here, it's not illegal if you get a doctor's note, medicinal. You have to have carry a card, of course. Well, she could have done the same thing in Russia. They don't, I don't think they give them out in Russia. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. So, I'm just saying, ladies and gentlemen. But after playing for seven years in Russia, she had to know the drug laws, being that she played professionally, also professionally, for an American WNBA team. And, you know, let's not forget, you know, professional Sports have restriction on drugs. So she had to know some kind of uh, thing about drug use in, in Russia and the laws. I'm just saying. And to forget that you are heading into a communist country on top of that, that and, and saying that you've forgotten that you just pack your bags with anything. Well, that's reckless, in my opinion. That's reckless. Let's continue. So anyway, let's talk about this prison swap, which is all over the all over the internet. Okay, the prison swap. So you got Brittany Griner versus Victor Bout. I'm not gonna say his Russian name, Victor Bout. Okay? Prison swap. Well, let's talk about Victor Bout. Victor Bout was caught in a sting operation attempting to sell weapons to men he believed were Colombian rebels hoping to target American citizen. The Russians were quite focused on getting him to serve out his prison term in Russia. Well, why not? He's very valuable to him. What's more valuable? An NBA superstar or somebody that can make you money? Make the country money? I'm just saying. So, ladies and gentlemen, do this sound like a done deal or shady shenanigans? Well, I'm going to tell you something. Business is business. What is worth more? An NBA star or the threat to American security? Because, you know, once he gets, if they do the swap and once he gets to Russia... Who's to say that he's not going to go back to the business of trying to sell uh, weapons to our enemies to do harm to American citizens? Not only in Colombia, anywhere in the world. I'm just saying. So, my personal opinion, ladies and gentlemen, these elitists need to keep their freaking ass at home and out of, our, out of harm of harming more Americans. The common Americans. Who are not the elitists. My name is Eric. And thank you for listening to the craziness that lives inside my head. <laughs> <laughs>